Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again, and today we're doing another Vegas Pro 17 tutorial. This time we're going to be showing you how to match up external audio recordings to your main video file. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, let's say you already recorded your entire video clip or video clips plural, and you also recorded all of your audio files plural, either with an external audio recording device or a microphone plugged into a computer, anything of the sort, as long as it has its own recorded audio file, this is how you're gonna be able to do it. So first things first, we're gonna go into import media, and we're gonna to go to wherever you have it on your computer for uh, your video file and your audio track. There are gonna be two different files. Obviously, if you recorded multiple videos and multiple audio files, you will have more than just two. But we're gonna drag in my two that I have here, because I recorded the audio with my computer slash my microphone and then the camera itself. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna click and drag our video clip down to the timeline. It will automatically make a video track and an audio track for us, pretty easy. As you can see above, we have the audio or the video and then below we have the audio for that video. Next thing we're gonna do is go down to this empty area on the timeline. We're gonna right click and say insert audio track and this is where we're gonna actually have our separate audio. Now you can come in here and double click and name this if you'd like to make it easier for you. I'm gonna name it my external audio and we're gonna hit enter. So now that clip or that track I should say is labeled external audio. So now we're gonna go up to our actual external audio. We're gonna drag that clip down underneath our uh, regular audio from the video clip and into the external audio track. Now, as you can see, Right off the bat, we can see the different audio levels within the clip itself, which is pretty nice. It's a nice, it's nice having a visual indicator instead of just having to listen. Very, very helpful for video editing. And as you can see, it is off a little bit from the video audio because as you can see that we have a lot of similarities here so you can tell where it's supposed to match up. Now, all you have to do at this point is just drag, drag one of them to match up with the other. So I like to keep the audio and video together. They are by default, but you can remove them if you ever needed to. So for instance, if you wanted to get rid of the audio from the video easily, you can right click the audio on the video and then go down to group. And we're gonna do remove from you, or you can just hit you on your keyboard. And then when you do that, now you can click and drag the audio separately from the video. You can also, once you do that, you can uh, right click the audio and delete it if you wanted just to get rid of it altogether. But for right now, to make this easier on us, we're gonna undo that and we're gonna go bring it back there. And what I'm gonna do is line up my external audio to my video audio to make it easier on myself. So I'm gonna zoom in on my mouse or using my mouse, I'm gonna use zoom in with the scroll wheel. I'm gonna try to match this up as good as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. So that looks pretty close. And now what I do normally is I will click play and it'll play both the sound files together and that'll let you know if they are matching or if they're off. If you hear an echo of any sort, then they are obviously are not in sync. So here we go. Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again. It's that actually sounds really good, very in sync. So I think we're gonna leave it. So now what we're gonna do, now that we have our external audio mixed with the camera audio, we don't really need the camera audio anymore. There's really no reason to have it. So again, if we didn't already, you could right click and remove it from the group. I already did that. So I'm just gonna right click the audio and delete it. You could also just completely delete the audio track if you're not gonna be using this one. So you could just go over here, right click and delete track. And I will also just delete the audio from the video. So now as you can see, the external audio is matched up with the video. So if we uh, hit play. Hey guys, what's up, Nikki? Once again, today we're gonna be doing a quick tutorial on how to match looks pretty good now the next thing is and this is extremely extremely important because one thing you notice the video is longer than the audio clip so the video like starts before the audio does so for one thing I'm gonna remove the be whole beginning section of this clip because I don't need it but before we do that we're gonna select both the video and the external audio by holding down control on your keyboard make sure you click the top the video make sure it's highlighted and then click the bottom audio make sure they're both highlighted yellow we're going to right click go to our group but this time we're going to create a new or you can just hit g on your keyboard to do the same thing once you do that now if you move it they stay together you don't have to worry about accidentally losing that place or desyncing the audio it makes it extremely extremely easy 
Now from this point on, if we were to split a clip or split any part of it, it will split both the audio and the video together as you can see. So I'm gonna delete this first part, just right click delete, drag it to the front, and there we are. Hey guys, what's up, Nick here once again, and today we're gonna be doing a quick... That's literally it. That essentially is how you add external audio and then sync it to a external video source. Very easy, simple to do. I like that that Vegas Pro gives you the visual indicator of the audio level, so you don't have to worry about having to actually go through and manually, painstakingly listen to each clip to make sure that they sync up with your video. So that is very nice. If you have any other questions or anything that I may have missed in this tutorial, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you have any ideas for future video tutorials, I will gladly take any ones that you have. And if I end up choosing your idea, I will definitely shout you out in the next video. With that, leave a like to show your support as always. It truly does help. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one and we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out.